And Virat Kohli at the other. Once again, it's breathtaking numbers. Well played. Slightly offline, straying onto the pads. That's the last batsman you want to do that. One of the very best of his pads. He switched on Virat Kohli. Seeing the ball early in his innings. Pace allows it to beat the man on the fine leg. Still got the two slips. Slightly in the air, but well timed. He'll get four for it. Just left off uh, Devendra Bishu, mid wicket. Ball angling in. Loves playing that shot. Not convinced that he was in uh, complete control of that shot. Fair distance from Bishu, to be fair. Shane Thomas. Outside edge. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. Boundary for Virat. Boundary for Virat. Well done to the young man. O'Shea Thomas has got the outside edge of Virat Kohli on a pitch like this. West Indies have two slips, so you can't really fault them for not having more slip fielders. Was controlled. Recognized that uh, he was getting into a vulnerable situation. Just angled the bat as well. The skill from this man. Jane Thomas running in Virat Kohli, the man on strike. Two slips waiting for the outside edge. Well, there you go. You've got to be pinpoint accurate against Virat Kohli. Could be bowling at 147 kilometers per hour. The last ball was that speed. But if it's on the pads, got to fetch it. The great players in world cricket. They're very good on both sides of the wicket. Virat Kohli showing his class through the onside. He's equally good through the offside as well to full deliveries. You can see from the same position he was trying to get the ball to leave the right hand. Sometimes that just doesn't happen. Oh, another good delivery. It's another leading edge. This is how the game goes. He's going to get three runs for it. It's another good ball from Thomas. This is how the game goes. He's going to get three runs for it. It's another good ball from Thomas. Was he playing on the onside? It seemed like that last moment he made that adjustment. Going to play a lot straighter than where the ball ended up. 49%. Square leg behind square. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. How good was that? Just pulling that one into the ground. Absolutely safe. Absolutely gorgeous. How good are those wrists? That bounced quite a bit. He had to keep it down. Look at those wrists rolling. Beautiful. Was in complete control of that. I must also add, he had a couple short deliveries before. What he did, he just took evasive action, left it alone. And like a very good player, he's got good control of his mind. He's not instinctive playing the pull shot. Recognizes the pace, the bounce. Again, you see him trying to take the ball down. The outfield should do the rest as it does. 50 comes up for India. I don't think that delivery, particular delivery, came onto the bat as fast as uh, Virat was expecting. But was in control, waited for it. That split second extra, making sure he could keep it all along the ground. Pick up the gap as well. Oh, 
Take another. This one on the offside. What was he unhappy about? Well, that's the shot that he was searching for earlier in the over. He didn't make contact on that occasion. But this time, he makes sufficient contact and he gets the outcome. Wonderful execution. His option from the start was to go up and over. Oh no, Kimar Roach usually very, very good in the field. Whatever it's been in the breakfast of the two teams today, it's catching. But the feeling was looking to throw before it collected the ball. Nobody's going to steal a single. The ball was traveling very quickly to short pan Lake Kimar Roach. Maybe just taking his eyes off the ball. Bonus boundary puts pressure on the bowler who's conceded two boundaries in his very first over, Jason Holder. 36. Get it! Get it. Oh, just missed it. Chandapal Hemraj and Virat Kohli goes to his 49th half century in one day internationals. And usually he converts so well, usually. And he has to do it tonight as well to make sure in the wins. He just had his heart in his mouth for a brief period of time. The ball away to... Oh, don't bowl there. Don't bowl there. That's a lesson which you need to learn immediately. Don't drift onto his pads. Magic. He's got a wand in his hand. Everything right about the shot. Right from the middle of the bat and leaning into shot. And bisecting the, bisecting the gap to perfection. And what he's done is try to play the ball straight in the V's. Another fine boundary from him. Just trying to rectify the issue that he was faced in that second test match in getting LBW. So early in his innings, playing through that straight midwicket region and not going square. You're halfway down the pitch at 127.5 kilometers per hour, you're asking for. He had an impressive start, Bishu, in the first over. Oh, there you go. Placement, placement. Just to the right of that fielder at long off. You can't keep him quiet. Wasn't a bad delivery. But just a little bit outside the off stump. And he's cleared his front foot just a little bit. And again, the bottom man. The bottom man. Look at the way the bottom man has come into play. He's got all the shots in the book. I think it's. 50 overs, T20 cricket, he still wants to play the classical stuff. That was again, a square cut from the coaching book along the ground. And again, the, the bottom hand. The, there are very, very few players in world cricket who can play off both hands, the top hand. A beautifully flipped one. How do you stop that? Two fielders there, did their level best, but still couldn't stop it. Virat Kohli at his very best. The timing, placement, everything in the shot. Thomas going wide to the crease, costing delivery of this bread and butter. Two fielders in the deep. How good is he at finding the gap? Wonderful. If I remember correctly, the sweep shot which you're talking about, Ellis, I think during Duncan Fletcher's tenure, he tried tried to get every batsman to sweep, especially. But then it's that's the class of this uh, this player. Yeah. If he wants to pick up a shot, he does. Oh, that's up in the air! I made the extended hands of Chasen Holder. Is it? That's Rogman Pal in moment for him. He's so accustomed to getting it, getting there. Big totals like this, the, uh, this one. Oh, it's on the front foot or back foot. The 
crowd egging him on. They are also waiting in anticipation for yet another hundred. Drives and drives well. Another hundred, the 36th in his ODI career. Take a bow, Virat Kohli. All inspiring, fifth against the Windies. Has been mentioned before, one of the best from Virat Kohli. Strike rate of 115, 16 fours. And all of them are gems. Magnificent from the Indian captain. An absolute masterclass in chasing down big totals. 101 of just 88 deliveries. <laughs> How good was that? If it was to the right of that man at deep point, this time it's to the left. 56 ODI hundreds. Take another four. Well, it's criminal. It's criminal to make batting look so simple. A little bit of room, the angle taking the ball away. How quick was he to pounce on that? Six for Rohit Sharma. Oh, that was one thing missing. A six. The first one hit in the air. There were a couple that were unintentional. This was intentional. Again, the use of ball man to really good effect. No wonder he works hard on his fitness. His fit is a fiddle and he's strong as well. Right from the middle. Away she disappears. Sensational. What stands out is the effortlessness with which both, both these batsmen are batted today. I accepted that the wicket's been good. Bowlers have been trying hard. There have been some very good deliveries this past ladder. This one has gone past the field. Marlon Samuels at covers was hit hard. It's too close to the bat. A six followed by a bound. Got a feel for the bowler up against two really really good batsmen and no help from the fielders should have been easily stopped this one Marlon Samuels let it go right through his legs from the Indian skipper we all know his record track record then India chasing and yet another ODI century and this was full of fantastic shots 19 pros and 1-6, the strike rate of 128. You can't ask for anything better. Wow. Five overs for 41. Catch it. Make that five overs and one ball for 45. There's such little margin for error when you're bowling to a batsman in supreme form like Virat Kohli. Wasn't really a bad ball. Just a little bit short. And that was all that Virat Kohli needed. And look at that! Look at that! That's the firm grip with the bottom end. Wow! Shot of the highest caliber of Virat Kohli. This is beginning to look like a beat down. They just cannot put a halt to the flow of runs. It's like taking candy from a baby. That's how it's looking. Virat Kohli doing as he please in this innings. Wonderful use of the feet. Gets to the pitch of the ball. Didn't try to overhit it. Wow. They sit in and they imbibe, they take in this masterclass of run chasing from... 
and he's gone. Bit of turn. Very good stumping that by Shea Hope. He does uh, tend to sometimes overstep when he's looking to play that uh, cover drive. But the shoe's fine. He rolled a couple of no balls earlier, but this one's fine. And that's a wicket of the last fall of uh, Devinder Bishu's uh, seventh over. He gets the Indian skipper for 140, 256 for two.